Namaskara. Uh, I am Professor P. R. Hampi Huli, Professor and Head the Department of Mathematics, uh, KLS Gokhtin Institute of Technology, Pradagami. Here I am there for the last lecture of this uh, 18 Mat 11 integration chapter. So far we have learned different uh, varieties of integrations. Now it is the time to apply them for area, volume, center of gravity, particularly the double integration. Here I go with the first application area. This I'll be explaining through uh, examples. Find the area of ellipse, suppose, first one. Find the area of ellipse. Here, dear students, if at all you are not given the equation of ellipse, you should be able to remember it. Sometimes this equation which I am writing now may be given, may not be given. So you have to assume that. If it is not given, you have to write this. Now, in the solution part, a small diagram is always necessary. Since x and y both are given powers, it is symmetric for both the x and y axis. So whatever the area is there in this uh, first quadrant, the same area is there in all the quadrants so that it is the four times whatever the area is there uh, in the first quadrant. Now the limits for this are lower limit to upper limit, lower limit is y equal to 0, upper limit is ellipse, y equal to b into square root of, many times we have done b square minus x square. So this uh, we will have to use it, uh, rather b by a into, because a comes out. So now what is the integration of this? Area is always, area is always, small elementary area is dx dy. Whenever we take any area, any area, First we have to take the elementary area and uh, you have to go on integrating in the limits for y and limits for x. So area is first of all small dx dy. So this double integration that is integrand is 1. This area see y equal to 0 to y equal to ellipse square root of a square minus x square this is ellipse and x equal to 0 to x equal to a and 4 times this. Naturally, we have to integrate with respect to y first. So that becomes uh, 4 times x equal to 0 to a as it is and uh, dx as it is the uh, integration of dy becomes y between uh, 0 to b by a square root of a square minus x square. So needless to tell that it becomes 4 times b by a 0 to a square root of a square minus x square dx. So simply if I substitute uh, x equal to a sin theta in this, if you put x equal to a sin theta, remaining things will work out dx equal to a cos theta d theta and many times you have done theta goes from 0 to pi by 2. So now final area of the ellipse equal to 4 times b by a, 4 times b by a, sorry, 4 times um, b by a, 0 to pi by 2, if you simplify this, if you simplify for the integration you will get a square cos square theta which is uh, 4 times AB, 4 times AB into 1 by 2 pi by 2. So very easily you can see that the answer is pi AB. In the ellipse, if uh, A could be, it becomes area of circle, it implies area of circle because a could be ellipse become circle is uh, equal to pi r square or pi a square. So highlight is you have to write dx dy and integrate over the region. So one dx dy integrate over the region when you are Cartesian coordinates are there. We shall take one example of overall also, polar also. So find the area between, sometimes I am not writing find, find the area between these two parabolae y square equal to 4axy 
x square equal to 4 ay sorry y square equal to 4 ax and x square equal to 4 ay many times you have drawn this y square equal to 4 ax x square equal to 4ay to find the area of this first of all y limits which is from this parabola y equal to x square by 4a y equal to x square by y equal to x square by 4a to one more parabola y equal to square root you have to take y equal to square root of 4ax naturally this uh, point of intersections are you can very easily find 0 0 and 4a 4a so the x limits become 0 to 4a so area is uh, nothing but so it is no 4 times 2 times it is directly whatever the area is there this area we are finding this area we are finding so that this becomes a uh, mm. <coughs> the area is a uh, zero to a zero to four a y equal to x square by four a to y equal to square root of four a x dy dx so uh, a small homework to you so this becomes 16 by 3 a square many examples like this we have done main thing is dy dx you are taking and uh, limits you are taking that is very important why not we should take one example of polar coordinates third one find let's take uh, some different color for this find the area inside cardioid underline this inside the cardioid and outside the circle which are the so i have written uh, uh, definitely purposely the question incomplete inside the cardioid means i uh, will be given this uh, which cardioid inside the cardioid r equal to a into 1 plus cos theta and which circle will be given outside the circle r equal to a now in the solution part first thing is always draw these things draw these things cardioid is uh, this heart shaped curve And uh, circle is uh, exactly passing through this point. Draw it carefully. And it is passing through this point also. Now what happens is the area inside the cardioid outside the circle so this is a uh, outside the circle inside the cardioid so whatever the area above this initial line ox is there so below it is same so it is two times it is symmetric about the x-axis so whatever area is there it is a uh, symmetric about x-axis two times it is a uh, area instead of dx dy note that it is equivalent to r dr d theta now to find to find the limits of integration first of all r is varying from circle to cardioid as simple as it is and we are taking only upper half so upper half means uh, this line to this line when it rotates like this it becomes 0 to pi by 2 so theta is between 0 to pi by 2 so if I integrate uh, with respect to r first it becomes 2 times theta as it is 0 to pi by 2 r square by 2 d theta but limits are a to a into 1 plus cos theta. So with little effort we can definitely integrate. So now therefore area, area becomes 2 times as it is 
this half comes out let us cancel afterwards 0 to pi by 2 upper limit d square 1 plus cos theta whole square whatever is there we have to square the limits minus lower limit whatever is there we have to square it when you do this so we are will be left with a square outside a square outside and if you simplify expanding like a plus b whole square 1 plus 2 cos theta plus cos square theta minus 1 so we will be left with the cancelling these two terms will be left with only these two parts whose integration should not be difficult so integration is a square so thinking that these two are getting cancelled into cos theta integration sin theta between 0 to pi by 2 and this integration has a formula 1 by 2 pi by 2 so as uh, simple as it is so if you simplify upper limit minus lower limit two times sin of pi by 2 when you put theta equal to upper limit 1 minus 0 plus pi by 4 totally you can very easily simplify that it is a, a square by 4 into bracket pi plus 8 please note down so if it is the area Cartesian coordinates, we will be taking the ds dy. If it is polar coordinates, you are taking r dr d theta and uh, appropriate uh, limits. A very similar is the application for volume. Let us take uh, one more color for this. I will demonstrate this using this example. Find the volume bounded by cylinder x square plus y square equal to 4 and the plane and the planes two planes are there one is z equal to 0 which is x y plane and one more is oblique plane y plus z equal to 4 so always first thing is diagram so when i draw this so you need to draw a carefully a three dimensional figure taking uh, this as x axis this as y axis this as z axis first of all x square plus y square equal to 4 in xy plane in xy plane sorry in xy plane it is a, a circle so if you take it horizontally upwards one is z equal to zero and one more is a slant plane like this and if you cut that slant plane it looks like this so if i cut it uh, upward it starts uh, looking like this this is the plane actually this plane slant plane is y plus z equal to 4 or it can be written as z equal to 4 minus y also one more plane is uh, this plane which is uh, z equal to 0 plane Sorry. z equal to 0 plane one more is this plane slant plane so z equal to 0 to z equal to 4 minus y it is a uh, height is a z1 minus z2 which is a 4 minus y minus 0 something like this this is our z why i am telling this because whatever the volume is there whatever the volume is there to the left of y axis whatever the value volume is there to the left of y axis the same thing is there to the right of y axis that is this side whatever the volume is there same time volume will be there so only we take uh, volume on half of this circle this is half of this part volume we get volume is nothing but whatever dx dy is there to that on that you have to put a pillar of z so here it is z is a slant and that slant z is 1 is z equal to 0 and 1z is 4 minus y because of this plane. So volume becomes z into naturally height into area. 
z into dx dy in terms of double integration. So that is the uh, y limits. You have to first write x equal to 0 to square root of 4 minus y square because x square plus y square equal to 4 is the circle. Naturally, x equal to 0 to square root of uh, 4 minus y square are the limits of x. As you can write limit of x or y. Y is varying from minus 2 to plus 2, obvious because this is plus 2, this is minus 2, radius is plus 2. So now instead of z, we should write this uh, 1z is this 4 minus y and 1z one, one is 0, 4 minus y minus 0, which is uh, volume becomes now double integration. Once it becomes double integration, no problem of integration, 0 to 4 minus y square. This is uh, 4 minus y dx dy. Naturally, we'll have to integrate with respect to x first. This is limit of x. So I write integrating with respect to x. Volume is y as it is. dy as it is. This 4 minus y as it is because only x part it's only dx part you have to integrate. dx integration is x and x equal to 0 to x equal to square root of 4 minus y square. Substituting we will get y equal to minus 2 to plus 2. 4 minus y. Upper limit minus lower limit. 4 minus y square square root minus lower limit 0. This is with respect to y. Now there are two terms. As it is minus 2 plus we always think of even odd functions, let us see. First term is 4 times minus 2 to 2 y into square root of 4 minus y square dy. This becomes odd function because this is even function. This is odd function. Minus or first time it is, uh, first one it is even function like this. Second one is uh, minus 2 to 2 y into square root of 4 minus y square dy. Second one is odd function. This is even function. Odd functions become 0 integration because it is minus 2 plus. Even function becomes 2 times 0 to 2. So 4 into 2 times 0 to 2 square root of 4 minus y square dy. And naturally, naturally, this is many times done. y equal to 2 sin theta is the best substitution. dy equal to 2 cos theta d theta. Theta is from 0 to pi by 2. Substituting 8 times 0 to 2, we are going to be left with uh, 2 cos theta into 2 cos theta. So 1, 2 cos theta because of this and 1, 2 cos theta because of dy. So that amounts to 4 cos square theta. So 32 cos square theta. And it is a standard example of the value. So now one more small part my 4 times minus 2 to plus 2, 8 times. And this 8 times is multiplied by uh, 1 is uh, this 2 and 1 is uh, this 2. And uh, So already one more 2 was there that we forgot. So very interesting. I told in the beginning that uh, whatever the volume we are finding, half of the volume we are finding. So that uh, required volume is two times everywhere you have to go multiplying two times required volume is everywhere into two into two into two if you go on doing it so into two into two into two final answer becomes 16 pi that is very interesting so here highlight is highlight is z dx dy and uh, upper limit minus lower limit of z, 4 minus y minus 0, then we have taken only half of the volume, so that 2 times the volume, and remaining x limits and y limits, 
naturally you'll get 16 pi please uh, concentrate on that one more very interesting example many times this example is asked in the examination please uh, see this uh, next problem uh, example find the volume of bonded by find the volume bonded by the coordinate planes sometimes this word coordinate is used or sometimes it is not used coordinate planes x0 y0 z0 and and the plane means this is not coordinate plane x plus y plus z equal to e so always we tell that first is always figure so when you draw this figure the solution part first is always figure which one i shall take this one so three axes always so it's all practice this is a where x y is there it is z equal to zero where x z is there it is y equal to zero and where y z is there it is x equal to zero planes one more plane is uh, at uh, distance a at distance a if you take points all these things you have to join because y at z zero it is a zero 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 a zero if you take a y equal to a the remaining becomes zero if you take z equal to a so it is passing through three points any plane if you take three points it is enough to fix fantastic idea concept three points are enough to fix a plane two points are enough to fix a line four points are necessary to fix a sphere now if you take the height height is z equal to zero to z equal to this land plane which is a uh, this plane is a uh, x plus y plus z equal to zero a or z equal to a minus into bracket x plus y so this is one z say z one and this is one more z this plane which is z equal to zero we say it is z2 and real z is a z1 minus z2 which is a this part a minus x plus y minus 0 so now we are ready with the volume and double integration z dy dx we need to write what is the value of y is varying from in the axis y axis if you take to vary the y take the along y axis y is 0 here and you put z equal to 0 in this and find what is y if you put z equal to 0 you will get x plus y equal to a and y is a minus x so this line this line is either x plus y equal to a or it is y equal to a minus x so limits of from y equal to 0 to y equal to a minus x naturally x is from 0 to x equal to a so x equal to 0 to x equal to a and this value of z you, you should replace it by this point a minus into bracket x plus y so hence we are ready now so it is not two times three times it is directly you are finding volume x equal to 0 to a y equal to 0 to y equal to a minus x a minus x minus y dy dx so which uh, integrating you will get a cube by 6 a cube by 6 a small homework if the plane is x plus uh, x by a plus y by b plus z by c equal to 1 if a could be equal to c this value this value is instead of volume equal to a into a into a by 6 instead of that you will get a into b into c if a could be equal to c it will get a cube by 6 please try that only the plane you should write this one okay now interestingly we shall take the volume of find next example volume of ellipsoid 
which is uh, if uh, it is not given you should be able to write up to this it becomes ellipse if you take three dimension it becomes ellipsoid a egg shaped surface now this will be taken in only first octant and eight times that will be done so that in the solution always figures are very important let us take a octant first octant just like there are four parts in two dimension there are naturally eight parts in three dimension upper four and lower four just like there are four compartments so now if i take the ellipsoid here a here b here c which are a 0 0 0 b 0 and c 0 0 c and if you put z equal to 0 here this is z equal to 0 plane this ellipsoid wherever ellipsoid is there if you put a z equal to 0 here that becomes a ellipse this is a ellipse part this becomes ellipse part x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 or from this we can find what is y equal to which is b by a square root of a square minus x square which becomes the limit of y y equal to 0 to ellipse and x is naturally 0 to a height is z z is z equal to 0 to z equal to ellipse which is c times square root of 1 minus x square by a square minus y square by b square everything is set only thing is we will have to find volume equal to z dx dy or dy dx and y is 0 to ellipse b by a square root of a square minus x square x equal to 0 to a and this z is already found which is a upper height minus lower height upper height is ellipse which is a this minus 0 that z we have to substitute because it is a double integration so suppose for triple integration how do you find volume is a triple integration z y x dz dy dx after one step what happens is it becomes a z dy dx after one step of double integration all the example of triple integrations are double integration only so using triple integration also you can find volume which is a first step is you write dz in double integration you write z into dy dx that is our difference and and if you put the volume equal to now now it is first octant means uh, we should not forget that we are finding one eighth part of one eighth part of the volume so we have to multiply by eight so volume equal to eight times x equal to zero to a y equal to zero to y equal to b by a square root of a square minus x square z is uh, c into square root of 1 minus x square by a square minus y square by b square dy dx so this was done in uh, one of the classes you can refer that class number six and you are going to be end up with uh, 4 by 3 pi a b c i'm writing once again 4 by 3 pi a b c a note if uh, in ellipsoid if you put a equal to b equal to c that is if condition equal to suppose all equal to 1 a then uh, it gives the volume of sphere interesting volume of sphere with radius a which is 4 by 3 pi all are a into a into a a cube 4 by 3 pi r cube or 4 by 3 pi a cube is the standard volume of ellipse which you have done many times as a third application of this we are finding center of gravity that is a very interesting application so i'll demonstrate through this example so it is well known more known as a cg using double integration using double integration
okay using a double integration find find the cg more known as cg it is cg of 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 lemina in the shape in the shape of a quadrant of but to draw the figure you'll understand quadrant of this curve x by a raised to 2 by 3 anybody can guess it y by b raised to 2 by 3 yes it is correct it is 1 it is a asteroid we shall draw that <coughs> now some more information is given the density density which is usually written as rho is a kxy this density may vary k is a constant so that is goes unsaid first of all the solution part always first figure whichever curve is given so you should be able to draw the figure otherwise no use please you have to practice that otherwise no use so if i draw that figure so this becomes the asteroid same thing downwards and in that first quadrant is taken first quadrant means this part this part In that, we have to find CG of this. So there will be some point where this point say this will be CG X bar Y bar, where the whole concentration of mass will be in one point, it will be concentrating. A CG of any body is the point where the whole mass is concentrated. Now, there is a formula for similar formula is there for x bar y bar also x bar is a double integration which is a x into rho dx dy whole divided by double integration simply rho dx dy instead of x if you write y this becomes y bar let me write that also y bar equal to y into rho dx dy now this rho is given as kxy whole divided by whole divided by double integration simply rho dx dy Whatever you find for x bar, it will be same for y bar because this is very much symmetric. Here we go. Now x bar equal to, in this example, what happens? Double integration, we shall see the limit. First of all, rho is given as kxy. Apart from that, x dx dy is there or dy dx. Similarly, double integration here, rho is a kxy, simply dy dx. Now limit of y. Whenever I take in terms of y only, this limit of y is from y equal to 0 to this y equal to whatever curve is there, y equal to some curve. So I can take 0 to y, first time I am taking like this, some y it is, height y, function is y. Limits are carefully taken as, interesting here, see this uh, treatment of solving the exam, example. Limits are y equal to 0 to y equal to y only and x equal to 0 to x equal to a the same limits will be there for the denominator also naturally y equal to 0 to y equal to y and x equal to 0 to x equal to a 
Now, we will we'll be integrating only with respect to y. So, if I integrate with respect to only y, so x equal to 0 to a. So, k as it is, x as it is, x square rather. Okay. y becomes y square by 2 between 0 to y dx. Very similarly, x equal to 0 to a, k into. x as it is, y becomes y square by 2. Here x square is there, here x is there. It is the difference. 0 to y dx. Now what all we have to do is, what all we have to do is convert this into parametric equation. Where for parametric equation you have to put x equal to a cos cube theta. For asteroid you have to remember this, y equal to a sin cube theta. And you want dx. Only find dx value. So, dx equal to minus 3a times cos square theta into sin theta d theta. Naturally, theta is varying from theta is varying from 0 to pi by 2. 0 to pi by 2. So that everything in terms of theta when you convert. Okay. But uh, it is 0 to pi by 2 if from x equal to a to 0. That you should not forget. When is x is a, it is 0. When x is uh, 0, it is pi by 2. So for a to 0, it is uh, 0 to pi by 2 or actual limit is pi by 2 to 0. Pi by 2 to pi by 2 to 0. As x moves from here to here like this, this line moves from like this, theta equal to pi by 2 to theta equal to 0. Now when you convert everything in terms of thetas, in no time, you will find that you will get with its simplification 0 to pi by 2, 0 to pi by 2, uh, both numerator and denominator simplified together, sin raised to 7 theta, cos raised to 8 theta, d theta, a into it is whole divided by whole divided by 0 to pi by 2. sin raised to 7, slight uh, difference will be there, cos raised to phi theta d theta. Applying the rule of integration, in no time we will see that it is 128 by 429 a. Because since x and y are symmetric, here cg becomes x bar y bar equal to 128 by 429 a. This is also 128 by 429a, some point which is some point which I had marked with the blue color. This is some point here that becomes the CG. Very, 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 very similarly, we can find the CG of in terms of polar coordinates also. So here it is a, our last example, if at all, with you permits, if at all, there is a chance that we will be meeting in second semester also. Till that, wish you all the best. Take care always. So here I go for the next example. Find CG of. Find CG of. The cardioid. So when the word cardioid comes, it becomes uh, polar coordinates naturally. Find the CG of cardioid. Okay, so use double integration. Sometimes is written. Sometimes it is not written. It is optional. So in your semester, you are using double integration. The first point always is this is a question. Drawing a figure. Let us take a cardioid, which is R equal to a into 1 plus cos theta. Since it is symmetric, somewhere on y axis, this uh, CG will be there naturally. So, you have to find only x bar type. So naturally, y bar is 0. So, x bar 0 is the CG because it is very symmetric. 
Now, if you guess that, if at all you take the complete asteroid here, this complete asteroid, CGWA naturally, there is a guess. Guess is one concept which God has given us. Thank God for it. Very fantastic concept. Never forget. Whatever is guess is slightly depending on judgment also, your previous knowledge, all these things. Now, X bar, to find X bar, just like Cartesian coordinates, you have got formula here. Very, very similar. Of course, double integration, double integration. Instead of rho, x, x is r cos theta. Okay. And instead of dx, dy, it is r dr d theta. Similarly, in the denominator, is rho into r cos theta. Here it is just rho, rho dx, dy. Instead of dx, dy, it is r dr d theta. In the appropriate, in the appropriate area. Now, R is varying from minimum this point to maximum this point. R is varying from R equal to 0. R equal to this row. R equal to 0 to cardioid. And naturally, theta is varying from minus pi to plus pi because cardioid is here. Minus pi to plus pi. So, minus pi to plus pi. The same limits will be there here also. 0 to a into 1 plus cos theta minus pi to plus pi. The remains is to substitute the value of r and integrate. Or you can write first r square by 2 integrate and remaining things will work out. But uh, is it r square by 2? No. First of all, in terms of if uh, rho is uh, not there, you put rho equal to 1. So now, by taking rho equal to 1, first of all, you integrate r value, r into r, r square. So in, the, in the numerator, it becomes uh, r cube by 3. In the denominator, it becomes uh, r square by 2. So integrating with respect to r, keeping theta constant, minus pi to pi as it is, cos theta as it is d theta as it is, r becomes r cube by 3, this is between 0 to a into 1 plus cos theta. Very similarly, denominator instead of r cube by 3, it becomes r square by 2, 0 to a into 1 plus cos theta. So substituting these, uh, substituting these limits, that is the value of cos square and all that. So you will be left with uh, some simplification like this 2a by 3, 2 times 0 to pi by 2 because of cos theta is symmetric about uh, x axis. 3 cos square theta plus cos raised to 4 theta d theta in the numerator. Very similarly, in the denominator, you will be left with 2 times 0 to pi by 2. Slight modification will be there. 1 plus cos square theta d theta. You have to integrate numerator denominator separately. So, as the powers are even, you can very easily see that. You can very easily see that. Uh, this is done 2 times. So, now totally you will get uh, uh, 2a by 3 and uh, use the proper integration value, I think uh, that can be done. Cg is there for x bar 0 in this case, which is 5a by 6, comma 0. That's all for the day today. And uh, from my side, Dr. Prabhakram Puri here, wishing you all the best for your examinations. Come out with the flying colors. This is the first semester. Do well. Don't get panic for anything. I wish you all the best, first of all safety for the pandemic and remaining is your career, bye, best luck.